Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk Christmas. This video is not meant by any means for you to feel stressed out or anything like that. Maybe you don't have any Christmas presents yet at all for your kids. Maybe you're worried about how you are going to do Christmas this year budget wise. But the purpose of today's video is specifically to give you ideas that either go along with a budget friendly idea of Christmas or just if you're kind of stuck in a rut and not knowing what to get your kiddos for Christmas this year. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Megan and I'm a mom of six kids. And today I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna show you what I got them for Christmas. I am missing a few things, but we're gonna get right into it. And before we really get started, let's give a shout out to my mama for this new Christmas shirt chilling with my nomies. <laughs> my mom picked this up for me and I was like, okay, that's really cute. So I wore it for this video. But anyway, today's video is actually part of a collaboration with a bunch of other mama friends of mine who are also sharing what they got their kids for Christmas. And it is with my friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray. She is hosting this collab. I will put the playlist in the description down below and you will find all kinds of other ideas for what to get your kids for Christmas this year. I know one of my friends on the playlist did it super budget friendly, which is really, really impressive. I can't wait to go through the playlist and just see all the all the exciting things that these kiddos are gonna be getting for Christmas. So another thing I want to add is if you are familiar with my past, what I got for my kids for Christmas videos, and I will link those down below, um, we have always done a three gift Christmas that is based off of, that is symbolic of the three wise men's gifts. And this year I think is the first year that I actually haven't followed that and my oldest is 12. So we've been doing that up until this point and we will probably go back to it next year. It's just, we kind of strayed from it this year. So the first one I'm gonna start with is my three-year-old son and we will get right into it. So the first thing that I got him is actually a board game, the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel Game. He's getting to the point where he wants to join in family games with us <laughs> and the ones that we typically play on Family Game Night, we try to include him, but he really just needs a special game just for himself. And this is one that we had a long time ago and it got crushed and pieces lost and you know how it goes. But now that he is three, I got him this. It's super cute. It's a well-known game. I'm sure you've seen it before, but it's really cute and you have these little you have these little squirrel tweezers and you pick up the color of acorns and you put them on your little mat and it has the little spinner so it's really cute so i got him that okay and then the next thing i got him is he really really loves kinetic sand and he also loves anything like construction related and i saw that kinetic sand has like a little construction set but then when I was looking on Amazon, this also came up and it is like this big plastic sensory bin that comes with all these little trucks and things like that that are um, more construction related. And so I grabbed him that. Oh, here's another picture with the kid on the back playing with it. And I think he's gonna love this. Plus, I like that it comes with an actual like plastic bin that closes. It had really good reviews and stuff. And I think that's gonna be great for him. The next thing that I got him that he loves is he loves to build with the little magnet tile things. We have Picasso tiles. And some of the things that we don't have for that is he loves trains. And I found these pieces that go with the Picasso tiles that are like little train pieces so he can build trains on these, like make a little train. And then I also got him the people. And as you can see, it of course has the little construction worker in it. So I got him those. 
And then the last thing that I got him is he has three older brothers and he loves to be their little shadow and they are really into Nerf. And so I got him his first Nerf gun. <laughs> This was actually a really, really good deal. I think it's actually still on sale for the price that I got it. But it was on Amazon on sale for like $8.99 and then it had an additional coupon. So I think it made it like $6 and something. And it's a really cool one. It's the one that like has the revolving thing in there. Um, and it's going to be easy for him to do. Like it cocks backwards that way. And then, you know, yeah. So I got him his first Nerf gun. So that is what I got my three year old for Christmas. I know Nerf is not recommended at all for that age, but when you're three and you have three older brothers that are very much in that age and stage, you will learn to adapt. So if you are a fellow large family mama, you know how that dynamic rolls. And so I went ahead and got him his first Nerf gun. Okay, so the next ones I'm gonna show you are actually for my five-year-old daughter, and she is as girly girl as they come. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. This is not typically something I would ever get, but it is literally the only thing she has been talking about. This, this little kit that is like a fake phone and a purse with makeup inside. Um, and like I said, it's not something I would normally get, but it's literally all she's been talking about. And so that's what I got her. <laughs> the next thing that I got her is when I was shopping at Marshall's one day, I saw this. <laughs> you guys, I got to look and make sure she's not coming in the room. It's a little dog that is a purse. Okay, she is going to flip out when she sees this. This has her written all over it. This has Lily written all over it. It's hilarious. The next thing I got was this little Play-Doh set actually at Dollar Tree, since it's not the Dollar Tree anymore. This was in their little like three or five dollar section. I don't remember, but it's like a little, let me turn it around that way. It's like a little ice cream set and she loves play-doh and so i just got that little set to go with her stuff and then she's gonna love this it is the little baby sitter skipper with the little doll and they're at the playground and it even has like a little thing of kinetic sand that you put in the sandbox and she plays in so she's going to love that and then the last thing I got, I, I'm actually considering sending it back because it is not at all what I expected it to be. Sorry, I keep looking to make sure she's not coming in. She gets up a lot in the night, so. Um, this is tiny. I got her a bobble. She's been wanting like a big girl bobble. Um, and it's tiny. And so I don't know if I'm going to get this. It was a different one than what I get my other kids and I got it more for nostalgia because did you guys have a precious moments Bible when you were little? <laughs> I loved my precious moments Bible, but it wasn't this tiny. So I think I might actually send this back. I ordered it off of Amazon. I think I might actually send this back and just order the ESV kids Bible that I normally get my kiddos. Um, there's one called the Seek and Find Bible that's ESV translation, and I think I might actually send that back and get that, but that is what she got for Christmas. Now we're going to move on to my third kiddo, and she is eight, and I'm just going to start here. So this is a Bible cover. She has been asking for one, and it's got like the little handle and the inside pockets, but then it also came with all these tabs for marking her pages and the different um, books of the Bible and stuff like that. She's gonna love that part. She loves that kind of stuff and like journaling type stuff. She's very artsy, um, interested in a lot of like artsy little crafty things. <laughs> so I got her that. The next thing that I got her is this little Lego friend set. She saw this and she absolutely loved it. This little tree house. 
And so I got her that. And then I got her, this is going to seem kind of random, but again, when I was at Marshall's and I found the little purse for my youngest daughter, um, I love when I'm out and about and I see something that I just know my kids will love. Like it just, I just know, you know, you know how it is. And so when I was in Marshall's, I saw this really, really cute hanging plant sloth, okay? He is so stinking cute. And she has a little office area set up in our office. She has her own little desk that she got for her birthday last year. And she likes to set up her little area. And I just thought she would probably love having this in her little office area hanging. And he's so cute. So I got her that. And, oh, and to go along with her Legos, I grabbed this too. I found it on sale for really cheap. And she loves like the little horse stuff. And so it's just like a little stable that she could pretend like goes with that. That was supposed to go with that. Okay, and so something else I like to do is I like to think about interests that my kids have, and I like to go off of that when I am picking gifts for them. And so this next thing I'm really excited about because I think she's really, really going to love it. And she is doing a sewing and crocheting class at our homeschool co-op, and she loves it. And so I got her this sewing school book. 21 sewing projects kids will love to make and it is so cool so it's also spiral bound which I love because it goes flat it does like up close step by step how to sew on buttons and it has all these cute little projects um <laughs> making little stuffed animals and things like that and I just thought that was so cute and like these little hand sewn apples. Everything in here, I believe, is hand sewing because there's a level two. Oh, and like little skirts for her American Girl dolls. We don't have real American Girl dolls. We have um, our generation dolls, but it has all kinds of fun little projects in here that they can learn to do hand sewing wise. And like I said, they have a level two that teaches them how to start using a sewing machine. But for right now, since she's taking a hand sewing class at co-op, I thought this would be a really good thing for her. And so to go along with it from Hobby Lobby for the cheap price of $2.99, I got her some polyfill for her little project she's going to do. And I also got her, they had a ton of really cute fabrics on clearance and these were fabrics I could just tell that she would love so I got a yard of this one I thought that was really pretty and she would really love that and I have some just like solid colored ones in my sewing box that she can use but um this oh my gosh I kind of wish I would have gotten some of this for me but how cute are those little woodland animals she's gonna love that and so that is what I got for my eight-year-old daughter. So, and again, all of these things, I will try to link in my Amazon storefront or in the description down below. So just check that out. Okay, now we're gonna move on to my nine-year-old son. And I'm gonna start with his little crafty thing because he loves, especially as we're entering winter, I like to pick things that they can do with their hands that, um, or things they're actually going to use. And so I saw this, I thought this was really cool. He really likes doing perler beads, but this is those aqua beads, but it's a Mario set. And I was like, how cool is that? So if you're not familiar with aqua beads, it's like these little beads that you follow a pattern and then you spray it with water and they expand and stick together. And so it comes in like this little box so everything has a home. I love things that come with boxes. And so I got him that. And the next thing I got him, he is going to love this. He loves Dude Perfect. Okay, loves Dude Perfect. So this is 101 tricks, tips, and cool stuff. And I was like, oh my word, he is going to love this so much. So it has like tips on like trick shots and basketball. And then it also has um, <laughs> like just little stunts, football things, like little, like it says stunts and tricks. And 
he's gonna love this. So I got him that Dude Perfect book. Um, and then the next thing I got him, you can't see because they sent it in this box from Amazon, but these are, I want to say Heelys, but they're not Heelys. They're like, I don't know, they just go on your heel and they have wheels on them. They strap on your feet. And it's made by the same company that makes the Razor scooters. And they looked really, really cool. He saw them and that was one of the only things he expressed a lot of interest in. And then I got him a new board game. I thought he would really like this one. This is one that we surprisingly have never gotten before. And again, he expressed interest in this one. And so I went ahead and got him that. So that is what I got my nine year old for Christmas. He is missing one thing. Typically, um, well, he asked for a new pair of boots and typically I wait until Black Friday for that because Kohl's every single year has boys boots on Doorbuster for like $14.99 and I just order them online when the um, Black Friday things go on sale. So I will order him a pair of boots to go with this as well. But that is what I got my nine-year-old son for Christmas. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. We're down to the last two kids. And I am going to start with my 10 year old son. He'll be turning 11 soon, but um, yeah, let's get started with him. So the first thing that I got for him is he is really into soccer. He plays soccer and when they go to like camp and things like that, he needed a new duffel bag, like a nice one. And so, they actually, sorry, these are the straps that hold it closed when it's being packed. I got him this Adidas one with the orange because, you know, we're Tennessee people. And <laughs> so I got him that. I know he's going to love that. And it's nice and big. It's really nice, actually. So we grabbed him that. We found a really good deal on that. I don't know if it's still on sale for what we got it for, but we grabbed that. And he and I were sitting and looking at ideas for Christmas and stuff and oh, he saw this how to draw sports and so this it's just a little step-by-step -step how to draw people playing different sports and has the little practice pages beside it and so I think he's really gonna like that a lot so that is what I got him the next thing I got him is he loves, like, he's really into, like, World War One and World War Two, just army stuff, okay? And so, I saw this um, model kit at Hobby Lobby, and they put these, depending on the week, they'll have them 40% off. So, it makes it a really, really awesome deal. And so, this is just a tank, and this is the first... Um, this is the first actual like model kit that he's ever done. He's always done Legos and stuff, but he's just not really interested in Legos anymore. And he expressed a lot of interest in this. And so I grabbed that for him. Then also he got this for a friend for their birthday. And when his friend opened it at the party and started playing it, he was like, mom, that was such a cool game. And so, I got on the Amazon app, of course, and they had an additional coupon on this thing. It made it super, super affordable. So I'll make sure to put the link to that. Hopefully it's still on sale for what I got it for, but um, he's gonna be excited about that one. And then we got him a soccer goal. It's one that kind of, it collapses. It had really good reviews on Amazon and I was going to just order it on there and then I saw they had it for like a dollar cheaper at Target and if you spent a certain amount of money at Target you got like $10 off or something so I went ahead and got it there. The price in the store at Target was $10 more but they matched the price for me on the app so just keep that in mind when you're doing your holiday shopping too that they can always price match on their own website so that's what I got my 10 year old son. Now, my 12 year old son, 
boy, as they're getting older, they really do become harder to buy for. Especially my son, he's not like really into a lot of, I don't know, he, he has a hard time figuring out what he really wants. And so he's in youth now, sorry, I'm trying to open this. Um, he's in youth now and with that comes like extra expenses for camp and like extra activities and stuff like that. And so he actually asked for money for Christmas. I'm not really a big fan of giving money for Christmas. I don't mind to as long as I'm actually giving gifts alongside it. So I'll give him a little bit of money and I'm going to put it in a new wallet. I could not get this open. I was going to show you guys the wallet. I really like it. It's and he needs a new one. He lost his a while back actually. And so I got him a wallet and I'm going to put some money in there for him. But then he also has some gifts to open. So he has played piano since he was in first grade and it is something that he just absolutely loves and has a lot of talent for. And so I got him this John Williams book for piano. It says easy piano. Don't get this for your kid if they really are an easy piano. So this is more like intermediate level, just so you know. Um, but it has, I mean, if you know, if you don't know who John Williams is, he wrote the music for a lot of different movies. Um, Tanner's favorite movie happens to be Jurassic Park. And so I got him this book for piano. I think he's really going to like that a lot. It's something he's not really expecting. And so, also speaking of Jurassic Park, I got him a new Jurassic Park shirt. As he is getting older, he is going through a huge growth spurt. And so, he's moving into men's sizes in his shoes and in his clothes. And he outgrew his Jurassic Park shirt that was short sleeve. So, I grabbed a new one for him. I also got him a duffel bag like my other son. So, when it comes, see, it comes folded up like this. But it's actually rather large. <laughs> so, I got him this charcoal gray one especially because he'll go to youth camp this year and stuff so that will be really good for that um and then the last thing they do nerf wars all the time him and his friends and so i just got him another pack of bullets <laughs> they have some but you can never have enough when you're doing nerf wars and stuff so his looks kind of sparse but i mean when you're talking about a wallet with money in it and things like that and then he also enjoys new, a new pair of boots each year like he asks for a new pair of boots each year and so same thing as what i'll do for my other son i am going to order him a pair of boots on black friday oh i forgot to add so my 10 year old son actually needs a new bible and so that is something i need to order him as well but that is what i got my kids for christmas so i hope you all found this helpful um yeah Make sure to check out that playlist. I know I can't wait to go through and, and see all of it. I, I always think videos like this are fun to watch. Um, and so I hope that it was helpful. But I will see you all on future videos. Thanks so much, Wendy, for hosting this collab. And I will see you guys later. Thanks so much, guys, and have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.